Okay, Ji, so we are back. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, Ji. So what we have done up till now, we have uh, uh, we have figured out what is the input uh, impedance Zi, as well as we have figured out what is the output impedance Z0 of the system. Right? Now what we need to do, we need to figure it out what is going to be the voltage gain. So for that, we will take a look of uh, again the output side. If you see. Uh, and when we take the look of the output side of the circuit, so if you see, we have uh, the total current which is flowing in the output side of uh, the circuit is basically the current control source which is developing the current, which is beta times IB. Now, if you see the direction of beta times IB is downward uh, from collector towards the ground. But RC and R0, they are also in parallel to one another. If you see over here. So these two, they are in parallel to one another. Right? So this means what we can say over here that these, they are in parallel to one another. And this current beta times IB is actually flowing from here. And this is flowing in this direction from the parallel combination of these. Two. Are you with me? As well as... This was zero. This was zero. We had to find Z0 to find Z0 to find zero. Hua tha na. Now, if you see, the we need to find V0. What is going to be the value of V0? Right. So how we can find the value of V0? The current which is flowing through the parallel combination of R0 and RC into the current which is flowing through it, right? That will be V0. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, the current which is flowing through these two parallel combinations uh, into the current into the parallel combination. So that will be V0. But if you see beta times IB is flowing from collector to the ground and from the ground it will be flowing in this direction. As well as we can see the value of I0 is over here. right? So this value of I0 is actually equal to the value which is the total value of the current which is flowing through here which is R0 in parallel to RC. right? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, so if you see what we can say that V naught should be equal to the current which is flowing through this into the parallel combination. But as you can see over here, that the current is entering from the downside from here. The current is entering at this point, right? And it is moving in this direction. But we are finding V naught like this. We say this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal of the voltage source, right? But current is entering from the bottom, right? So what does this mean? That V0 will be equal to, we can say minus, we can say it is minus the total current beta times IB into the parallel combination of RC to that of R0. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, ji. Because the current is entering from the bottom and moving in the opposite direction to that of the voltage. Right? So, therefore, we say the current is having 
minus beta times IB into the parallel combination of that thing, right? Or we also know this thing that if you see what is going to be the value of IB from the circuit, if we see what is the value of IB? If you see our here, the potential across RB and potential across beta times RE, what is the value? What is the value across uh, the, uh, the voltage across RB as well as beta times RE? Sir, B R E cross voltage yoga, uske, usko divide kare, us, uske saath, resistance saath, uska jo resistance hai, toh se I V nikal jayega. Voltage R B K cross kitna hai, aur voltage beta times R E K cross kitna hai? R B K cross B I hai, sir ji. Aur beta times R E K cross kya hai? Uske cross bhi V I hai, parallel mein. Right? So, the voltage across beta times R E is V I. Right, and the current which is flowing through beta times R E is I B. Right, so what we can say that I B, we can say I B is equal to V I divided by beta times R E. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this means we can put this value of IB in the equation above us. So, once we put that value, we can say V0 is equal to minus beta VI divided by beta times RE into the parallel combination of RC to that of R0. Are you with me? Yes, sir. And this means beta can be taken out with beta from here. So we can say that V0 divided by V i is equal to minus R c in parallel to R naught divided by R e. Are you with me? Yes, sir. And as we know that R naught is a very, very big value as compared to R c. So what we can say that V naught divided by vi is equal to approximately minus rc divided by re right? and where yes. v naught divided by vi is voltage actually gain. the voltage gain so we can say av is equal to minus rc divided by re Are you with me? Yes, yes, sir. Now, once this is done, so what is meant by the negative sign over here? Because uh, th there is a ratio which is RC by RE. But with a negative sign, it indicates that the there is a phase difference of 180 degree between the input and output voltages, right? So how the phase difference is going to be shown? That if I am going to just go back to the circuit, this was the initial circuit which we have, right? This is the initial circuit which we have. So if we are applying, let's suppose if we are applying the input like this, this is the input. 
so the output which is going to be our here it will have some amplification as well as a phase difference of 180 degree are you with me yes sir okay so the amplitude will be defined by the ratio of the rc to re we have defined over here the it is the amplitude is rc by re and the negative sign over here indicates that there is basically a phase difference between input to that of the output are you with me now yes sir okay yes, sir yes uh, with this there is an example in the book which is given as example 5.1 so just go through it and this is your assignment for this one okay ji any question up to now no sir okay sir assignment ki samajh nahi aayi assignment jo na example 5.1 given in the book that is an assignment and uh, uh, with the as the lecture progresses i'll uh, tell you something more in it as well okay ji thank you sir okay so the next circuit is basically the voltage divider uh, biased configuration circuit voltage divider biased configuration circuit it is also in the form of uh, common emitter configuration circuit right so what we have we have basically the voltage divider bias configuration circuit which we have seen previously as well that we have the rc resistance and we have the transistor with the transistor we have the resistances which are R one and R two, which are connected to the base of the transistor, and then we have the R D, which is being connected over here. And with the R D and this, we have we have the VCC is being connected over here as well as there is C1 which is connected to the base of the uh, VR, sorry, VI, VI connected over here, C1 capacitor, and we are taking the output from the collector. capacitor c2 and this is the output and across r e we are connected another capacitor that is called the c3 which is the bypass capacitor over here are you with me now okay ji yes sir and with this what we can see that looking from this side we have zi when looking from this side we can check the z not similarly when from v i we have i i which is flowing over here and from r c we have the i not which is flowing into now again what we can see from here we have base emitter and collector and from here what we can see we can transform this circuit into the ac analysis circuit right and we can also incorporate the re model into the common emitter configuration circuit so how we can do that so if you see uh, uh first we have to do the dc analysis you know how we can do the dc analysis then once the dc analysis is being done 
then we will go for the AC analysis. And in the AC analysis, this means VCC will be no more in the circuit as well as C1, C2, and C3. They will be a short circuit, right? So if you see C1, C2 is fine. When you see C3, C3 is actually parallel to RE. So this means for AC, the emitter is again going to be grounded. Are you with me now? Yes, sir. Okay, so once this is being done, so what we, how we can start it from here that we, we can, uh, first we can uh, just uh, draw the RE model. So the RE model is we have in between base and emitter we have beta times RE. In between collector and uh, emitter we have the current controlled current source which is beta times IB as well as we have are not in parallel to this. Right? And from there Further on, we will just uh, uh, put the resistances which are with the base as well as with the collector as well as whatever which is being connected with the emitter as well. So if you see at the base, at the base we have R1 as well as R2 they are being connected. At the base, there is R1 and R2 that is being connected, right? Because uh, R1, the other end, uh, one of the R1 is connected to the base, the other end of the R1 is connected to the base. Similarly, uh, one end of R2 is connected to the base, the other end of the R2 is connected to the ground, right? So this means what we can do, we can, at the base, we can actually, Connect R1, R2. Right? And the other end of R1 and other end of R2 is connected to ground. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. EKG. With that, if you see at uh, the collector, so the collector is connected with RC and the other end of the RC is now connected to ground because the uh, DC biasing source is no more in the AC circuit, right? So this means the RC is connected to the collector and the other end of RC is connected to ground also. Okay, with that, if you see the RE, RE is having C3 and when C3 is being short circuited, so this means the emitter is directly connected to ground, right? So this means uh, the model uh, other ends like beta times RE that will be straight away connected to ground. Similarly, beta times IB uh, the current control current source, the other end is being directly connected to ground. And similarly, R0, the other end of the R0 is directly connected to ground itself, right? Now, when looking from the input side, we have VI over here, as well as we have the input current II, which is flowing over here. And when looking from the input side, we have the ZI over here. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, and when looking from the output side, we can see that across RC, we have V0. And from here, when we take a look, so here we have Z0 and the I0 current is flowing 
over here in this direction. Right? Okay, sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And with this, we can also see that the base current is flowing over here in the eta times or e small resistance. So now what we can do, we can find the input impedance, right? And how we can find the input impedance? We can find the input impedance Zi. Now Zi should be equal to that I should be equal to, if you see R1 and R2, they are already in parallel. So what we can say, let's suppose we say them, this is R dash, right? Okay, G. So this means R dash will be in parallel to beta times RE, right? So what we can say is that I is R dash in parallel to beta times RE. But beta times RE is again a small value. So what we can say that, or we can still say that it is, if we don't want to summarize it, we can say that I is basically a value which is R dash in parallel to beta times R E, right? So if we don't, do not want to actually uh, make it a small value, right? So we can say, that Zi is basically because R1 and R2 again they are in parallel so this means this will also become uh, whichever is the smaller value so the smaller value again in parallel to another smaller value so then we will figure it out what is going to be the total Zi right so once we have uh, find out the input impedance then what we can do we can actually find out the output impedance. Now to find the output impedance, what is the condition for the system to figure it out the output impedance? What we need to do, we again need to put the, to find out Z0, to find Z0, what we have to do, we have to find Z0, we have to do that uh, VI needs to be make equal to zero. When VI is being set equal to zero, so this means II will become equal to zero and when II will become equal to zero, this means IB will become equal to zero when IB will become equal to zero. So in the output side of uh, the circuit, this beta times IB, which is the um, current controlled current source, this will become open and when this will become open so what we are left with we are left with r naught and in parallel to rc right are you with me so it is the same thing which we have done in the uh, yes, previous previous thing so this means we will have z naught that will be equal to rc in parallel to r naught and again, uh, we know that R0 is a very, very big value. So this means we can say Z0 is approximately equal to RC. Right? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, now, the next thing is what we need to do. We need to find out the value of V0. And again, it is uh, the same which we have done in the... Uh, last circuit, so V0 is basically uh, equal to the current which is flowing in the parallel combination of R0 and RC and the current which is flowing in the parallel combination of R0 and RC is actually equal to the beta times IB, but that is uh, entering from the bottom side. So this means the value of the current we will say it is minus beta times IB, right? So this means we can say V0 is equal to minus beta times IB into the parallel combination of RC in parallel to R0, right? And again, uh, uh, similarly from the last time, we have figured it out IB is equal to 
the vi divided by beta times r e are you with me in the so we have figured out ib is equal to vi divided by beta times r e are you with me with this one yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir. if if you see this circuit so ib is flowing through beta sir. times r e so this means vi is equal to beta times r e into ib or we can say ib is equal to vi divided by beta times r e right so we have uh, figured it out the value of uh, the base current now putting this value of the base current in the equation above so what we are going to get we will find v not is equal to minus beta vi divided by beta times r e into r c which is in parallel to r not again we know that r c in parallel to r not is uh, r not is a big value so we can straight away say that the parallel combination will be actually equal to uh, r c and uh, we can say v not divided by v i is equal to beta is being cancelled from beta so this means this is equal to minus r c divided by R e, right? So this means the voltage gain is basically the same as we have figured it out in fixed bias computations. Right? And again, the negative sign over here indicates that there is a phase difference of 180 degree phase shift between the input and that of the output circuit, right? And the amplitude is dependent upon the value of R C to that of R E. Right? Are you with me? And this value is basically the yes, sir. So, the in dono circuit is stability of RK. Yes, if you see uh, in uh, the fixed bias configuration circuit, to jahan pe hamare paas DC me jo tha na, DC me hamare paas RE me koi value nahi thi. Because yes, RE wahan pe DC me zero tha. Lekin uh, yahan yes. jun hai. Uh, uh, voltage divided by circuit में हमारे पास R E की value है D C के लिए, but A C के लिए क्योंकि हमारे पास bypass capacitor लगा हुआ है, तो इस वजह से वहाँ D C में वो stability provide करता है और A C में जो है हमें जो है gain भी provide करता है, उसके साथ जो है phase shift भी provide कर रहा है। लेकिन इसमें जो है basic आपकी बात ठीक है कि इसमें जो है जब आपकी value of I B change होती है तो उसका इंपैक्ट जब बीटा चेंज होता है और आईबी चेंज होते हैं तो उसकी वैल्यू का इंपैक्ट जो है वो आउटपुट पे उस तरह नहीं आता जिस तरह फिक्स बायस में आता है राइट तो जो क्यू पॉइंट है वो मच मोर स्टेबल रहता है और आउटपुट जो है आपकी फिर शिफ्टिंग नहीं करती इतनी ज्यादा जबकि आपके जो है फिक्स बायस में आउटपुट शिफ्ट हो जाती है तो वो या ज्यादा या वो कट ऑफ की तरफ चली जाएगी या वो जो है सैचुरेशन की तरफ चली जाएगी तो अगर वो कट ऑफ की तरफ चली जाएगी तो दिस मींस आपका जो है लोअर साइकिल जो है वो कट जाएगी और अगर वो जो है सैचुरेशन की तरफ जाएगी तो आपका जो है वो अपर साइकिल वो कट जाएगी ठीक है जी तो इसमें फिर बेसिकली वो क्लिपिंग आ जाती है कि सर्किट के आउटपुट जो है वो क्लिप हो जाती है तो व्हाट वी नीड वी नीड एक्चुअली यूनिफॉर्म आउटपुट सो दैट वी शुड हैव अ साइकिल इन द पॉजिटिव साइकिल एज़ वेल एज़ वी हैव अ साइकिल इन द नेगेटिव साइकिल so for that very reason ye jo hai aapka it is much more stable as compared to that of uh, the fixed bias configuration circuit because aapka jo hai ye circuit aapka q point ki shifting nahi hoti baat samajh mein aa rahi yes sir sir ye cut off ke liye lower cycle kat jata hai na dekhen cut off jo hai na aapka basically wo aapke chala jata hai जो वैल्यू ऑफ आई क्यू जो है ना या आई सी क्यू जो है वो आपके नीचे चली जाती है आपके बॉटम की तरफ चली जाती है जब बॉटम की तरफ चली जाएगी तो दिस मीन कि आपका जो है वो नेगेटिव साइकिल कट जाएगा ठीक है जी और अगर वो जो है सेचुरेशन की तरफ चली जाएगी तो दिस मीन्स के आपका जो ऊपर वाला पॉजिटिव साइकिल है वो कट जाएगा बात समझ में आ रही है ठीक है जी सो दैट इज बेसिकली क्योंकि आपका वहाँ क्यू पॉइंट शिफ्ट कर रहा है फिक्स uh, प्राइस में और इसमें जो है 
शिफ्ट तो करेगा लेकिन इस तरह नहीं शिफ्ट करेगा कि वो ड्रास्टिकली शिफ्ट कर जाए वो थोड़ा सा मामूली सा मामूली सा शिफ्ट करेगा ठीक है जी बात समझ में आ रही है वो जो है ना वो जो पॉइंट है ना वो आपका फोर्थ चैप्टर में पूरा एक्सप्लेन हुआ हुआ है स्टेबिलिटी के हिसाब से यहाँ पे हाँ तो इसीलिए मैंने वो एग्जांपल आपको दी थी कि वो आप एग्जांपल कर लें तो वो उस एग्जांपल में क्लियरली मेंशन किया हुआ है कि वो जब बीटा की वैल्यू चेंज होती है ना तो आपका क्यू पॉइंट पे कितना ड्रास्टिक इफेक्ट डालता है ठीक है जी ओके सो विद दिस Uh, there is an other example, example 5.2, which is also included in the uh, uh, your assignment. Okay, ji. Right? Okay. Any question? Any question? No, sir. Sir, ye last thing ke ya agli week mein padenge. Ji. सर ये लास्ट वीक का लेक्चर है या अगले वीक में पढ़ेंगे और भी आ, ये क्योंकि हम क्योंकि हमारे पास वीक्स कम है तो नेक्स्ट वीक भी हम जो है इनशाला कुछ ना कुछ करेंगे सो आई विल ट्राई कि आपका जो है कोर्स कवर हो जाए लेकिन इट सीम्स डिफिकल्ट कि वो कवर हो सके बट एज फार एज वी कैन गो वी विल ट्राई टू कवर इट सर मिड मिड टर्म इंक्लूड हो गया नहीं वो प्रिपरेटरी वीक भी इन लोगों ने खत्म की तो अब देखें ना सिचुएशन ऐसी है कि प्रिपरेटरी वीक अब आपको दे नहीं सकते क्योंकि उसके बाद फिर जो है वो समर सेमेस्टर स्टार्ट हो जाएगा सर तो वो मिड टर्म तो कवर तो सब दिखा लेना सर अगर वो मिड इंक्लूड कर देते तो हमें प्रिपरेटरी वीक दे देते एक दिन में तो वो कवर नहीं होता सर तो क्या किया जाए सर मिड मिड टर्म को इंक्लूड ना करें फाइनल में अच्छा अगर प्रिपरेटरी वीक होती तो फिर बेशक इंक्लूड करते हम कवर कर सकते हैं लेकिन एक दिन में तो ये अब बहुत मुश्किल है कवर करना चले हम हम डिस्कस करके फिर आपको इंटीमेट कर देंगे ठीक है यस सर थैंक यू सर ओके ओके सो ओके आई आई स्टॉप इट ऑवर हेयर एंड वी विल रीस्टार्ट इन टेन मिनट ठीक है जी then we will start the next topic theek hai sir theek hai ji okay